previous class, as I told you, like some minutes ago, we were talking about comparatives, you know? We learned how to make a comparative, we learned how to identify uh, the adjectives, like one syllable, two syllable, three syllables, and so on. We learned how to do it, we learned that you have to count syllables by the sounds, like the voice. Also, we learned that in comparative, we have two ways to put it, with short adjectives and with, with long adjectives. So let's review this really fast. When you have an adjective of one syllable and you want to write it as a comparative, what do you have to do? You have to add something at the end. What is it? Who knows? For example, let's talk about the ones you had in the book. If you have short adjective, one syllable adjectives, and you want to put it like as a comparative, how can you do it? What do you have to add? For example, the adjective old. This one, I am going to send it through the chat. Uh, no, that's in superlative, Sammy, but we are just in comparative. If you want to change this, if you want to say mi papá es más viejo que mi mamá. Okay, open your microphones and tell me. So, okay, Sammy is writing through the chat ER. So, for example, Sammy, how can you say my, mi papá es más viejo que mi mamá? My dad is older than my mom. That's it. And that happens with short adjectives, you know? But you can compare it, I mean, like all there, you can say, for example, later, or something like that. Can you see? You have another rule. What happens, for example, if your adjective is big? That's an adjective of one syllable. But look at this, it has consonant, vowel, consonant. So what do you have to do? That's it. You have to put like the, the last consonant two times and then the ending ER. What happens, babies, if, for example, you have an adjective like happy? That is one syllable, two syllables. How many syllables do you have there in happy? Who can tell me how many syllables? Happy. Two, very good, you, you know it, you have it. So two, but look at this, it is ending in Y. So what do you have to do if, if you have an adjective that ends in Y and you want to compare it? What do you have to do with that Y? Who knows, who knows, ¿qué tengo que hacer con esa I? Okay, that's it. So as you have in the chat, you just have to delete the Y and put I E R. Listo? Ponen I E R. ¿Por qué? Porque termina en Y. Listo? Tienen como varias reglas. Eso es con los cortitos. What happens if you have an adjective like beautiful? How can you compare beautiful? I'm going to send it through the chat. Beautiful. What happens if you have beautiful? How many syllables do you have there? Beautiful. How many? Who knows? Who knows? How many syllables? Okay, three. <laughs> Three, and you have to put more. Open your microphones, guys, because as I am sharing my screen, sometimes I can't see the chat. I just have to change my screen and so on. So let's try to open the microphones, okay? So three, and you have to put more. So remember, when you have short adjective, ER at the end, when you have long adjective, you have more. And there is one word that is going to go with comparative all the time. It doesn't matter if it's a short adjective. It doesn't matter if it's a long adjective. What happened, guys? What happened if it goes with it? What's the word that goes with it all the time? La palabra sin la que no puedes comparar. The meaning of that word is que. So what's the word? Who can tell me? Done. Done. Very good. Done. So bigger than, more beautiful than, smaller than. 
worse than, better than. Can you see? So remember that, okay? You have it. You know comparatives. You were practicing with that. Today, babies, we are going to finish that explanation and we are going to be talking about superlatives, okay? We are going to put our attention just in superlatives. So let's begin with this. Here we go, babies. Don't forget, if you have questions, just let me know. So let's begin by reading this. Vero, princess, can you please help me reading this first slide? Uh, yes, yes. Um, use of the superlative. If there are three or more people or things, we often use superlative. Okay, the example. Um, this code, the Grammy Bridge is the largest bridge in Europe. Okay, that's it. So look at these babies, superlative. We were saying that in comparative, we can compare two things, just two. But when we have superlative, that means that we are going to have the possibility of, uh, of compare three or more people, things, animals, and so on, more than two. What happened here, guys? Superlatives are going to be focused in the biggest, in the most important characteristic of something. Ya no va a ser es más grande que, sino va a ser es la más grande. Ya no vas a decir, my house is bigger than your house, but you are going to say, my house is the biggest of the town. Es la más grande de toda la ciudad. Es la más grande de todo mi barrio. ¿Sí ven? Es como la cualidad máxima. En un comparativo comparas dos cosas, dos características, ¿listo? Dos objetos y así. En un superlativo te vas a enfocar en la cualidad más grande de algo. ¿Listo? So, for example, look at this. Vasco da Gama Bridge, this is a bridge, is the largest bridge in Europe. So, let's think about Europe. How many bridges do you think we may have them in Europe. Just two. ¿Cuántos puentes puede haber en Europa? ¿Solo dos? Yes or no? No. Very good. So, no, we, we don't have just two. It is impossible. I mean, if you think like in Bogotá, we have like hundreds of, of bridges. Now imagine Europe. A lot of bridges, but what happened? Here we are saying that there is one bridge that is uh, the largest of Europe. Estamos comparando este puente con todos los otros puentes de Europa para decir que este es el más largo, que este tiene como esa capacidad suprema, esa característica superior. ¿Listo? Vasco da Gama Bridge is the largest bridge in Europe. So don't forget, comparative, two things, superlative, a lot of things to talk about, uh, yeah, a lot of things to talk about uh, the biggest quality of something, the most important characteristic of something. So questions up to this point, babies? It's okay, Sammy, don't worry. Questions up to this point, beautiful dears? Nope. So I am going to give you some seconds to take notes and then we are going to continue.
Okay, babies, ready? Did you take notes or no yet? Please let me know. No yet, miss. No yet. No yet. Don't worry. Don't worry. Soon. 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 <laughs> okay, you have time. You have time. Sino que pronto. Soon. De, de pronto. No es Yeah. Solo. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. So some extra seconds. It's a, It's okay. Ex some extra seconds just for you to finish. Okay, I guess that it was enough time, so we are going to continue. So, baby, superlative, like the most important characteristic, condition, adjective, quality, and so on. Don't forget, this is for three, four, five, a lot of things. You are going to compare a lot of things here. So, let's continue. Look at this, guys. When we have superlative, we can work also with short adjectives, long adjectives, and so on. This is exactly the same as comparative, babies. Es igualito que en los comparativos. ¿Qué te va a cambiar la terminación? Ponle cuidado. Look at this. We form the superlative by adding est. Ya no le vamos a poner er, que era lo que le poníamos en un comparativo, solo dos cositas, sino que ahora le vamos a poner est, est, ¿ok? So, let's take a look to these examples. Look at this, clean. How many syllables do you have? Just one. So, clean, look at this. In comparative, you have cleaner. But when you have superlative, when you are going to talk about the most important quality, you have cleanest. Y miren que acá tienen algo curioso, que tienen entre paréntesis, de. Así como con los comparativos, la palabra que no puedes olvidar es dan, con los superlativos, la palabra que no puedes olvidar es de. De es muy, muy, muy importante, porque es para decir es el más, por así decirlo. So, for example, let's make an example with clean. So, you can say, my dog is cleaner than your dog. That's a comparative. We are comparing just two dogs. But if we want to say that in a superlative way, we have to say, my dog is the cleanest dog in the town. Mi perro es el más limpio de toda la ciudad. Punto. ¿Con cuántos perros los comparaste? Pero mi perro es el más limpio. Can you see? It is not cleaner than this, but the cleanest. El más limpio. Let's check some other examples. For example, fast. In comparative, you have ER, faster. But in the superlative form, you have to say the fastest. Can you see? The fastest. The ending is different. My car is faster than your car or my car is the fastest. El más rápido. Okay? Let's take a look to another one. Tall in comparative is taller but in superlative is the tallest. Can you see? The ending is different. I mean, the structure and the rule is the same. You have to put an ending, but that ending is the one that is going to change. Or, for example, long. In comparative is longer. In superlative is the longest. Can you see that the thing that is changing is the ending? Yep. What happened? Once again, we have the rule of the consonant, vowel, consonant. 
Consonante, vocal, consonante. Miren esto, for example, big. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So, in comparative, bigger, but in superlative, the biggest. Tienes que doblar la última consonante, pero mira que te cambia al final, porque ya no es comparativo, sino superlativo. Ya no vas solo a comparar dos cosas, vas a decir que algo es súper, que algo es superior. Guíense por el nombre, ¿listo? Biggest, ¿ok? What happened with fat? Once again, consonant, vowel, consonant. So you double the last consonant, and in comparative, fatter, in superlative, the fattest. No es solo más gordo, que okay, es el más gordo. ¿Listo? So, questions about it? Look at this one. ¿Qué pasa si te termina en E? Pues lo mismo, simplemente pones el resto de la terminación. So, large, larger in comparative, the largest in superlative. Or, look at this. ¿Qué pasa si termina, profe, en Y? Why? So, once again, simplemente cambias la Y por una I latina. So, dry, drier, the driest. Can you see? It is super, super, super similar, babies. The only thing that you have to remember is the ending. Tienes que acordarte de las terminaciones, que en comparativo va con ER y en superlativo con EST. ¿Ok? Y con D. Esta es la palabra que no se pueden olvidar. Acuérdense que en comparativo es cleaner than. En superlativo va con D. D cleanest. ¿Ok? Pero si ven que es muy fácil, es muy, muy, muy similar. So, tell me, babies, do you have questions up to this point? Something to say? Something you don't understand? Something like this, sure? What is this? I don't understand. Okay, so let me know. What about the others? Do you have questions? Is it okay? Don't worry. Anyway, we are going to practice, and in the practice, we are going to know if we have doubts or not. However, let me know. Okay, so I am going to give you some seconds to take notes and then we are going to continue, my dears. Please take notes. Okay, babies, ready or no yet? Tell me, tell me, babies, ready, no yet? Tell me now, let me know. Okay, so is ready. What about the others? Yes, Miss, I just be ready. Okay, some extra seconds.
Okay, baby, so I guess that we are going to continue because the class is like, I know, you know the time is running and so on, yeah? So we are going to continue. So look at this. This is what happened with superlative and short adjectives, okay? Let's continue. Here we go again. What happened now when you have adjectives that have two syllables? Look at this rule. This is important. Look at this one. We are going to read. We usually form the superlative of adjectives with two syllables ending in Y, LE, or ER, like this. Es muy similar, miren, si termina en Y es igualita a la regla a la que teníamos en comparativos, pues simplemente como terminó en Y, cancelamos la Y y ponemos IR. Miremos el ejemplo. Dirty, two syllables, so comparative, dirtier, superlative, the dirtiest. Look at this, sunny, two syllables, sunny. Comparative, we just have to change the Y, so sunnier, superlative, the sunniest. Can you see? But what happened? Here we have some other rules like le and er. Le like simple. Can you see? Esta regla de le y el er funciona para ambos, amores. Si termina en le o en er, igual, así sea de dos sílabas, no va a ser como more simple, most simple, no. Va a ser con las terminaciones. Copien estos finales, le, er. So simple, simpler, the simplest. Or clever, cleverer, the cleverest. Can you see? So it doesn't matter that you have two syllables. Eso solo con los de dos sílabas, no con otra cosa, no? Two syllables. You have to end uh, with er or est. Questions up to this point. Miren que la regla es cortica. Usualmente pasa más con estos, con los que terminan en i. Y, la y. Cambias la y por una i latina y luego. R o EST en este caso que estamos hablando de superlativos. Questions up to this point, beautiful DRs. Something you don't understand. No. Some seconds to take notes. You won't have like that much time. But some seconds to take notes and then we are going to continue. Okay, ready, babies? Because we are going to continue. Yep. Okay, I guess that you are ready. Let's continue then. So, let's continue. You know how to do it with one syllable, two syllables, but now, babies, we are going to talk about long adjectives, yeah? Once again, this is super, super similar to the thing that happens in comparatives. Remember, long adjectives, three, four, five syllables, like a lot of syllables, yeah? What happened in this case, babies? When you have a long adjective, you just have to add most, the most. En los comparativos agregábamos more, ¿se acuerdan? More dangerous than. En los superlativos, en lugar de more, vamos a agregar most. 
Miren que no cambia mucho, lo que cambia son como las palabritas que utilizamos para a, hacer la comparación en comparativos y en superlativos. Lo importante entonces, ¿qué es? Que nos enfoquemos en la comparación, en las palabritas, que no nos confundamos, ¿ok? So, look at this. Dangerous. In comparative, you can say more dangerous. So, snakes are more dangerous than dogs. But in superlative, you have to say the most. The most dangerous. La más peligrosa. ¿Por qué? Porque estás hablando de la cualidad máxima. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, you can say, snakes are the most dangerous animals. Can you see? You are making a comparison between snakes and a lot of groups of animals. Cualidad superior. For example, this one, interested. More interested or the most interested. Or romantic. In comparative, you have more romantic. But in superlative, you have the most romantic. So, for example, you can say, I don't know. Uh, Valentine's Day is more romantic than uh, Christmas, for example. Valentine's Day is more romantic than Christmas. Or you can say in superlative, Valentine's Day is the most romantic celebration. Can you see? Comparativos y superlativos y ven la diferencia En uno estoy comparando solo dos cosas En el otro estoy comparando varias Hablando de la cualidad máxima de algo Or for example, beautiful More beautiful, the most beautiful So questions up to this point, babies Remember, with short adjective You have to end with est in superlatives, ok? With long adjectives, you have to add most. So, the most. Most. And the key word, the one that you can't forget never in your life, is the. For superlatives, the. The biggest, the most dangerous, the most romantic, the most important. Can you see? The fattest, and so on. So, questions up to this point, babies? No questions? Yeah, okay. So, some seconds to take notes. Okay, my dears, ready or no yet? <coughs> yes, no, say something, please. Okay, let's continue then. So, my dears, today we are talking about superlatives. Chun, chun, chun. 
And there is something else you need to know here. Irregular superlatives. There are some adjectives that are irregular. Hay unos adjetivos que son irregulares, mis amores. Vamos a ver estos tres y nos vamos a enfocar en estos tres, ¿ok? Tell me, Sari. What's going on? Oh, no. Don't worry, ok. I hope you can see my screen now better. Ok, guys. So, we have this irregular superlative, this works also with comparative, hay unos adjetivos que son irregulares, entonces como con los verbos van a cambiar su estructura en comparativo y en superlativo. My suggestion for you, babies, in this case, there is no other choice, you have to memorize the form of the irregular adjectives. We are going to be focused just in these three, ok? So, look at this. Irregular superlatives. A few adjectives have irregular superlative forms or comparative forms too. Look at this. Those three we are going to be working with are good, bad, and far. Son los más comunes y los más conocidos irregulares. Bueno, malo y lejos. ¿Ok? What happened? When you want to use this in a comparative Good is going to change for better, and in superlative is going to be the best. So look at this. My car is better than your car. ¿Sí ven? No estoy diciendo nada con el good, no le estoy poniendo R, no, me cambia completamente la estructura. That's in comparative. In superlative, my car is the best car ever. Mi carro es el mejor. It changed. For example, with bad. In comparative is worse, in superlative the worst. Miren que es casi igual, solo que en comparativo termina con E y en superlativo con T. ¿Listo? So, for example, you can say, uh, Wasting food is worse than wasting paper. For example, that's not true. This is just an example that comes to my mind, so don't do it. Both are super bad. But as an example, wasting food is worse, than, is worse than wasting paper. But in superlative, wasting food is the worst thing ever. Es lo peor. Malo es para decir peor que y lo peor. ¿Ok? And finally, we are going to work with far. So, for example, in comparative is further, in superlative, furthest. Or it can be con with A2, okay? Farther, farthest, okay? It can be like that, okay, guys? So, for example, you can say, es mejor que lo hagan con A, ¿listo? Porque further también se les puede confundir con el, con el, con el más, ¿listo? Entonces, it's better if you do it in this way, with farther. So far, I am going to send it through the chat. In comparative is farther, in superlative is the farthest, farthest. Es casi como un father, casi como un father pero con la T, con la R, ¿listo? En lugar de decir father, le ponen far there, ¿listo? No lo hagan con la U, háganlo con una A aquí, una A, farther. So, questions about it, guys? You have it in the chat, questions about it? Okay, so we are going to stop right now, babies, because the class is, like, over. But next class, we are going to have some time to practice with exercises like this. Can you see? And we are going to have some time also to play with some Kahoot activities. And we are going to check some examples. By now, the class is over, my dears. Don't forget, you will find the recording of this explanation in the YouTube channel and that's all for today. Questions?